Hey team, Dr. Josh Widener here with Patient Mastery. Uh, this quick video I'm gonna share with you the single line that every chiropractor gets taught in school or with coaching or practice management that actually sabotages in your recommendations, people trusting you, seeing you as the leader, you having more certainty, which equates to them paying, trusting, following your recommendations and referring others. In this society, in this economy, this is 2023, people thrive on certainty, trust, Hey, Eileen. Um, and this one common sentence that you think is so normal and um, you know just protocol actually hurts it. And that sentence is when you're going over your recommendations. Now, I don't know how you do it. I don't know if you know a lot of chiropractors just wing it. Like, let's see how it goes. A lot of chiropractors say stuff that uh, someone on stage or someone in their coaching group said, "This is how to do it," but you don't feel right saying it. It's not what you'd say to your mom. It's not what you recommend. That sabotages. In Patient Mastery, we teach a five-step recommendations. You could do it in less than 10 minutes and you'd be happy if your mother was a patient. And you'll make more money than you've ever made cash without uh, feeling like a salesperson or selling your soul uh, by just billing insurance for stuff you don't believe in. So here's one of the things you're most likely taught, and that's to go over you know, throughout the protocol when you're going to be doing, you might call them re-exams, you may call them reassessments, you may call them progress exams, whatever. And oftentimes, it might be because of insurance uh, requirements or state board requirements. Let's say the common number is like 12 visits. After 12 visits, you need to do another progress exam, re-exam, reassessment, whatever it's called. Now, I'm not saying don't do that. Absolutely, stay in compliance with, with whatever insurance requires, state board, whatever it is. You know, Do the progress exam, do the reassessment, have the forms filled out, ask the right questions, document it, all of it. But here's the thing. When you inform and tell patients, oh, after each 12 visits, we're gonna do a re-exam, what the patient hears, and that this is this is one of the reasons why patient mastery is so ridiculously powerful, is because I teach you how to see things from the patient's perspective, unlike most chiropractors, whereas instead of drowning people with education and thinking, oh, if they knew what we knew, they'd do what we do, like, that doesn't work. So when a patient hears, oh, after 12 visits, we're gonna do a reassessment or re-exam, or every 12 visits, let's say you've, God forbid, told them it's a 36 visit care plan, which is never, never, never say that. You might see them 36 times, but never say that. That's a different story. But when you say, we're gonna re-exam, immediately what that's planting in the patient's mind is, okay, we re-exam after 12 visits, that's what the doc said, but up visit one through 11, the doc, doesn't really know what's going on in my case. And that's when they feel like they're just cattle going through a conveyor belt in your practice, which is the last thing, you know, chiropractors get that bad name for like, oh, it just seems like a conveyor belt. Whereas patients need to feel and think and rightfully should feel that on every single visit, you know exactly where they are in the process, in, the, in their healing progress, um, that you're on top of it. It doesn't mean you're gonna have to have a whole discussion about it. But the second you say at these markers, maybe it's six or eight for you, maybe it's 12, maybe it's 16, I don't know, but 12 is common. When you say we're gonna re-exam, reassess, progress exam, you are telling them that you have lost certainty or you just don't know between visits one and 11 or between 13 and 23. And that crushes trust, leadership, credibility, and certainty. And what you learn and own in patient mastery is how to actually lead patients from a, from a level of professionalism rather than righteousness or indoctrination in chiropractic and it feeling culty, leading them with certainty. And most, you know, most chiropractors don't graduate school with any certainty and what you're, you know, based on our profession, you're not giving much certainty either. And feeling like the redheaded stepchild of medicine, you're not giving much certainty. So when you incorporate certain communication principles and own and believe in whatever services you're providing, which hopefully you do, you see leadership, trust, certainty skyrocket, which immediately leads to retention, conversion, paying out of pocket, even when they thought or hoped insurance would cover it, referrals, and continuation. And all of that, what does that lead to? More people getting well from getting the care they need rather than dipping their toe in the water, let's see how it goes, disappearing on you, I need to speak to my spouse, let's, you know, let's figure it out next month after I get back from vacation. So sum it all up, most likely somewhere 
in your recommendations, you are giving these markers of like, and you think you're actually like being compliant by having to say it, or it's actually making the patient feel good. Do it. That's the compliant part. Not say it. Do the progress exam. But you don't have to inform the patient of it because just by informing them of it, you've lost certainty, you've lost credibility, you've lost trust, and they feel more like a cog in a wheel of your machine and that they're only going to really get your attention or find out how they're doing outside of their symptoms, which is not the best way for patients to um, determine their course of care on visit 12. And that may be six weeks from now, you know, or a month from now, or eight weeks from now. I don't know your frequency. So literally, you don't have to change anything else. Just don't mention progress exams, rate exams. Still do them. And there's a whole process for doing those really well. You know, you let the person know. Um, you have to let the person, let's say you need five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes more for that exam. Just let the person know on the visit before. Hey, on your next visit, we're doing something special. Um, you know, front desk knows you're going to be here another five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, whatever it is for you. So keep it simple. Drop saying that in the recommendations and your trust, leadership, and credibility will increase. Um, that's what people, that is what people today pay for. Leadership, certainty, trust. Are you delivering that in your consult, in your recommendations, in your, uh, in your, in your exam? Or are you just feeling like a scripted robot, saying stuff you said for 20 years and goes right over the people's heads, causes them to feel confusion, and then retreat? When you let go of 80% of what you've been taught to say and learn the patient mastery proven process, you will get paid so much easier, help so many more people, and practice will get so much easier because when you see people 